Hi everyone, today I have a little uh, different car for you. It's actually, you know, the first car of mine that I've videoed that's not actually in my family. It's a 2013 BMW X5, X5, uh, uh, excuse me, X5 35i X Drive um, in white. I it's a, actually, I believe it's the same white that my mother's BMW is in. Um, but this was just picked up on New Year's Eve. My parents' friends traded in their 2009 Dodge, Crav Dodge Grand Caravan SXT for this. Um, certainly quite an upgrade. But I'll bring you all inside now. I just washed it for them, so it's very clean. Nice beige leather interior. Typical BMW chime. Okay. Alright, so... It is a combination key push to start. As we have the start and stop button here. And we also have a key. So all you have to do is just put your foot on the brake and push the button. And the vehicle starts. This particular model has 2,497 miles on it. And this model is equipped with the 8-speed automatic transmission with the very strange looking gear shifter. Um, it looks daunting, but it's actually not that hard. In order to put it into drive, it's very simple. Just hold down this button here and pull back. It's now in drive. In order to put it into sport mode, just knock it to the left. In order to activate manual mode, just go forward or backward, and the uh, polarity is correct. It is push forward to downshift and up to upshift. Um, in order to go into reverse, hold down this button and push back. In order to go to neutral, just bump it forward one. And you're in neutral. And then to put it in park, just tap this button right here. And the vehicle is currently uh, in park. This also has an electronic parking brake. And I'm not 100% sure as to what that is. If any of my uh, viewers could tell me, that would be great because uh, the owners did not know either. This also has the iDrive system with navigation. Currently, my phone is paired. Oh, you don't need to see my contacts. That's awkward. Yep, my iPhone is currently connected. Um... This vehicle also has Bluetooth controls on the steering wheel, as long as audio controls. Also has multimedia controls here for CDs and other multimedia. All four windows are automatic up down, as expected in a vehicle of this price. This vehicle also has a very nifty feature. You hit this button down here and all of the mirrors fold in. Very useful when parking in uh, small or uh, very small areas as this is a quite a large vehicle. So I'll just rev the engine a little bit. It has a three liter um, I believe it's it's a twin scroll turbocharged in line six with 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. Um, and I drove this earlier today and I must say this car has a lot of get up and go. I think the 0 to 60 is estimated at about 6.3 seconds. But that That's courtesy also of the, uh, the good old 8-speed automatic here. It's perfectly geared for all the ratios. The vehicle is also equipped with some heated seats for both driver and passenger level um, dual zone automatic climate control pretty standard here along with a six disc CD changer this vehicle comes equipped with electronic stability control traction control hill descent control also comes equipped with a power tailgate um, there's this vehicle also comes with a really cool feature of the panoramic sunroof I have never been in a vehicle with this 
Very, very neat feature. It gives a nice and open airy feeling to the cabin. When I was uh, washing this in the automatic car wash, it was really cool to see the uh, washing arms come over the top of the car with the panoramic sunroof. The back also has personal sunshades, which is very nice because the particular owner of this car has two young children, as you can see by the car seat over here. <laughs> so I'll go on the back seat now. Actually. All right, so here's the back seat. Like I said, this owner does have children, so I'm not gonna climb in back here. But it's a reasonably sized back seat with some good floor mats down here, especially for kids. And a good, I believe, I don't want to say plastic back, or maybe it is plastic, but it's, it's very well grained. Um, the door panels, the quality um, makes its way back here as well. The very soft touch, it's very nice. All right. So we'll go check out the power lift gate now. Actually, just kidding. I lied. It's not a power lift gate. It just hasn't. It uh, opens up with that button. As you can see, got some strollers back here because, as I said before, the owner has children, and there is this nice uh, folding piece that comes out. So you can load maybe heavier, more cumbersome items on. Our, we had an XC90 a couple years ago that actually had this feature. It was very useful. And this vehicle is also equipped with the optional third row, but I'm not going to show that because I'd have to remove all this stuff. Now I'm going to take you guys on a little quick drive of this 2013 BMW X5 35i xDrive. Nope. Guess I did it wrong. My bad. Okay. Okay. With the 300 horsepower turbocharged engine and a six speed, or excuse me, an eight speed automatic, this uh, certainly has a get up and go that you would not expect in an SUV. I don't, uh, with this vehicle, I don't even see the need for the xDrive 50i model with um, a V8 and 400 horsepower, but perhaps if you're doing more towing, that might be necessary, but I don't necessarily see it. Alright, time to wait for traffic and to go. It clearly gets along quite, lo quite well. Even though this SUV weighs an estimated 4,960 pounds, um, this, is, this can easily run with my Honda. Easily. Um, and that's really a testament to BMW's engineering. Um, also pretty much the underrating of their engines, <laughs> um, cause this definitely has more than 300 horsepower at the wheels. Um, and the 8-speed automatic is wonderful. The shifts, uh, it shifts very quickly, very smoothly, and at about 70 miles an hour, it's only revving at about 1700 RPMs, which is very fantastic. And it's also a very smooth vehicle to drive. Um, it has the, you know, the higher level seating position that you desire in the SUV, but in a way, it handles like it's a much smaller car. It doesn't fool you. You, you know that it's a, a 5,000 pound SUV. You feel that weight in the corners, but it still corners very well, which is very surprising. Um, but again, you can expect nothing less from BMW. Um, so that is about the end of my video. I would like to thank you all for watching and have a great day.